What are you doing? Looking for your fishing pole. I don't own a fishing pole. You live on an island, don't you? Yeah. I mean, everyone in Florida has a fishing pole. It's like, I don't know, it's like a metric card. Last weekend, I was out at Coney Island, and this guy caught a fish that I'm pretty sure had wings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you have a better idea? Yeah, let's go down to the green market and see what the fishmongers have. What do you think, Humphrey? This week on Working Class Foodies. So we went to go buy some fish. All the seafood here is pretty much caught in Long Island Sound by myself and my father. We live out in Mattisock, a little town out in East Island, Long Island. Everything here is wild, nothing is farm raised. From the lobsters to the striped bass to the flounder, the fish, everything's wild. Nice to maybe get some crossbows. Yeah, they're only $3 a pound. One of the things that caught my eye was Wade had bluefish. How about the blue? I love it not only because I love eating it, I love to catch it too. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a lot of fun to catch. <laughs> that I wasn't really familiar with, either cooking it or even eating it. I figured it'd be a really fun challenge for myself as an amateur cook to get the bluefish and see what I could do with it. So I chose a recipe we found in one of Mark Bittman's books because I liked his, his combination of flavors. I thought it would balance well with the strong flavor profile of the bluefish. I marinated it very simply in some spring onions, uh, garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, and a little bit of fresh rosemary. A nice pinch of salt and a few good grinds of pepper. Mix that all together in the bowl and just marinate that for about an hour. And then threw it in a broiler. So I chose this recipe because I really liked how Mark Bittman balanced the strong flavor profile of the bluefish. Rosemary, which is a pungent herb, garlic and lemon juice, which are really strong flavors too, which would, I thought would really balance well with the bluefish. That ill, then suddenly craving for gain. Mussels are pretty much my favorite seafood. Yeah, flex. I don't want to flex. It's funny. It's not funny. Whatever. So I'm cleaning these mussels that I got at the green market. Sand can get inside the shells, and if you don't want sand in your mussels or in that broth, the broth is supposed to be delicious. If they're open, that doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. Give them a little tap or get them wet, and they close up like this guy's doing. They're still alive. Because they're French, I'm going to use butter instead of olive oil. I'm going to take a big hunk of butter and I'm going to add in about six or seven cloves of garlic. That's what you're like. They need some time to survive a little bit of this and a little bit of I can taste the rosemary, but it's not too overpowering, and I can taste the thyme. I can taste the fish, too, and it's not at all fishy. It's got a nice lemony kick to it. It's, it's really delicious. good. The cost breakdown of that blue fish was, the fish itself was $8, and that was a really, really large fillet. And the onions were $1. Mm -hmm. And everything else I used, the rosemary, the lemon juice, the garlic, the olive oil, salt and pepper, right. that was all pantry. The total, it was nine dollars, so which four. is four fifty a person. When it's that inexpensive, you know, it's real easy to add another starch on top of it to round up the meal more if you wanted to, but even right. on its own, that was a real fulfilling piece of food. I'm gonna go to these mussels now. Oh man. I'm gonna give them a little squirt of lemon. Those are delicious. So it has like a nice little beeriness. Well, I'd say. Cheers. Well done. So my dish ended up costing a little bit more than Max's bluefish, which meant that I had to do the dishes. But it was still a really affordable meal. The mussels, I got a pound and a half, three dollars a pound, so that was four dollars and fifty cents for the mussels. Uh, the beer was about four dollars, and the bread was four dollars. So all in all, that's twelve fifty. It breaks down to about six twenty-five a person. So that's what we did with mussels and bluefish. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and share with us your favorite recipes, videos comments with what you do with local seasonal seafood hopefully sustainable if you can do it if you can yeah. find it and we'll feature it on our blog yeah